Farmer again. Shot deflected, rattles the bar. Let off for Bournemouth early on in this game. It might have been Winterburn in there with the deflection, really important. Finds Farmer again. Seems to be finding the gaps at the moment, does Farmer. That's another good cross to the back post. Big save by Campaign away to his left hand side. We're sneaking in under the crossbar. Not the cleanest of connections from Keto at the back post. Had to react quickly, Campaign. Tonks in space. Low cross this time. Mariah Welsh shoots and Mariah Welsh finally scores. Fourth time lucky for Nathan Mariah Welsh. Great build up play again from Bournemouth. First time strike finds the bottom corner from Mariah Welsh. And you have to say that goal has been coming. Bournemouth 1, Wolves 0. Opportunities for Adua Jai. Three long range efforts from Mariah Welsh before eventually the fourth strike went in. His Sadie. Finds Tideman, square ball, Adua Jai, he doesn't need asking twice, Adua Jai, goal number 17 for the season. Three in his last three. You don't give Daniel Adua Jai that much room inside the box, he will make you pay and Bournemouth double their leads. They are on course as things stand to book their place in the knockout stages of the Premier League Cup. 2-0 up against Wolves, Tideman waits patiently. It will be Tideman on this occasion. Headed goalwards and off the bar. And the rebound is nearly bundled in by Ben Winterburn. It was Max Kinsey, I think, with the initial header. May well have been Winterburn, in fact, in front of Kinsey. Both were bundling in there. Here's Sadie. Sadie will shoot from distance. What a strike! Dominic Sadie! Incredible stuff. Nearly ripped a hole in the back of the net, Dominic Sadie and Bournemouth go 3-0 up on Wolves and they are cruising into the knockout stage of the Premier League Cup. Well cut off by Mariah Welsh, here's Sadie again, don't need to ask him twice from that far out, Dominic Sadie again! The first one with power, that was just beautiful placement from Dominic Sadie. Picked his spot and executed the shot perfectly. Bournemouth 4, Wolves 0 and Dominic Sadie with a brace in the second half to put the game to bed. Wolves still posing a threat at the other end though. Here's Tipton. Spread it out wide to Farmer. Farmer's cross is headed goalwards and a huge clearance on the goal line there by Max Kinsey I think it was. Was Kinsey, look, he saw the danger, he made his way back to the line. Here we go then, first changes for Alan Connell. Ashley Clark from the under 18s. It's a good quarter of an hour here to try and make an impact for the Venomen squad. Lander. Adua Jai. Across the face, a goal, what a moment! Ashley Clark with his first touch on off the bench. To put Bournemouth 5 0 up on the evening against Wolves. Adu Ajay with a great ball across the face of goal. And Ashley Clark, look at the smile on his face. Defending for the Cherries to do then. They try to keep that clean sheet intact. And headed in at the back post. No flag, everyone looks to the linesman. And there goes the clean sheet for the Cherries. And there is the full-time whistle, a dominant performance from Alan Connell's development side tonight. 5-1 winners over Wolves. They will go to the top of their group in the Premier League Cup and secure their spot with the win in the knockout stages through to the last 16 with two games still to play. It's finished Bournemouth 5, Wolves 1.